Good morning, my friends. I'm not really sure if it's the morning for you. Probably not. It's the morning for me. So I said good morning. Good day. Good afternoon. Hello. How are you? Uh, we got a lot of business to cover. A little bit more of a chill video in this one. Uh, just going to be talking through some bullet points I have here because there's been a lot of people asking me questions. And I, I think I have stated some things that's got some people thinking. So we're going to go over uh, a few topics here. One being Ariel. Uh, where I stand with Ariel and moving forward, uh, just my kind of thoughts and where I stand with the pro scene. I know a lot of you probably don't care, but a few of you might care about this stuff. So, oh my Atlanta! So I figured I would give you a uh, a little updated video here, and then kind of my you know where I'm sitting, my mindset as far as where the game is right now, the state of the game, and then finally, what am I doing? Am I you know, I've made some comments about possibly leaving the game, um, so a, a lot of people have been asking me about that recently in streams and stuff, so I figured I'd just make a video to clear it up a bit. So first of all, uh, I'm not really that involved with Ariel anymore, uh, I won't be casting for them uh, anymore, I, I will be testing for TFC those tracks, and I will be casting AMs. But I'm no longer casting Aerial EU. Um, I'm not really going to get into a ton of that. For me right now, where I'm at, it just I think it's just better if I kind of remove myself from a lot of the outside, uh, you know, quote-unquote points of work right now. Um, you know, I'll be finishing up MXGP casting, and I'm not really sure if I'll be casting anything else moving forward in the future. Unless it's something that I, you know, I host and I organize. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not, that's not definitely a no, but I definitely need a break for a little bit. To be honest, casting two days a week and trying to do uh, videos and trying to stream uh, has just been a lot. And I haven't really been putting, you know, as much time as I would like into content. Uh, I've been streaming a lot, but as far as like videos and that kind of stuff goes... I just really haven't been putting that much or as much time as I would like to into it and yeah so I think this is a really good change for me with that I mentioned earlier that I was going to be continuing testing for TFC for the pro series um, which means I unfortunately I probably won't be racing at all this year because like this let's see I, I've done probably six to ten hours of testing on Redbud so it really wouldn't be fair for me to jump into a race it's a lot different than doing a uh, you know like a, a site lap where I can kind of just cruise around for a lap and get the video for you guys testing I'm you know I know every single line on that track now what's faster everything and every little bump so it just yeah that wouldn't I don't, it's not, I'm not saying that I would do well in the races, but it's still just not organic and natural, you know? So, unfortunately, I think that means I will not be racing pretty much any of the, na the outdoors this year. Uh, I might, you know, m I might try to sneak in some NA MXGPs here and there. But really, I don't know, the pro scene for me in general has really just, I don't know, it's kind of, I'm not going to lie, I feel like the, hello, uh, hello, Mr. Subscriber, thank you, this is uh, not scripted <laughs> anyway uh <laughs> all right well we're just gonna leave that in there because it was funny but uh <laughs> if you watch this video w sub shout out there um i uh, i feel like the the pro scene has kind of sucked the life out of me uh in this game i'm not gonna lie uh the game was really really fun and then the more i got involved in the pro scene uh, it just kind of has, I don't want to say ruined the game, but it's made it really difficult. Like, I don't know. I just, I want to be really competitive, but the pro scene's really negative. I'm not going to lie. Everyone's very negative. The majority of people are very negative. And so I just, I kind of want to just distance myself from that as well. Like if I feel like racing, you know, like certainly for Supercross, I, I think I will enjoy that. Um, part of it is also probably a skill issue because I'm kind of bad at outdoors. Uh, so not qualifying, you know, I'm sure if I was qualifying in like top 15 every round, I'd be like, yeah, this is dope, but uh, I'm not, so I'm bad. And that on top of trying to sweat to try to qual and then everyone's so negative. I don't know, just looking to distance myself a little bit and just kind of get back to the roots of 
why I was playing the game in the first place, which was because it was fun, and it because I could hang out with you guys, and I could meet new people, and I just want to do that again. And then, alright, let's see, what else we got on this list? I have a list next to me, this is something I usually don't do, but, uh, oh, my thoughts on the kind of the state of the game right now. I know it, that you've seen 10,000 videos, I, you know, everyone's complaining, the OEMs this, tracks that, physics this, people both that. I'll feel ya. You know, I'm kind of, I kind of in the same, in the same boat a little bit, where... I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to sit here and complain about everything. Uh, but I think a lot of the people that have been grinding the game for a really long time, you know, there's a reason that they're frustrated. Um, so, yeah, I feel that. And, you know, it, it has been wearing me down as well. So I guess that leaves me with where do I stand? Where do I stand? I've made some comments about, you know, to people, and I think it's gotten around a little bit about looking for different games to play. I don't know if some some of you guys probably saw I, I streamed Battle Bit uh, a couple you know a couple days ago or it was like a week ago at this point. Um, you know I was gonna play X Defiant. I I've just had a lot of people recently messaging me and be like, yo, please don't leave the game, blah blah blah. And listen, I I've had to do a lot of soul searching. You know, like this is uh, it is just a game, but I'm not gonna lie. Like this is this is really important to my life. Like this is my livelihood. This is. Like, it is just a video game, but it is, it, you know, whether I stay on this game or go somewhere else, that, like, drastically impacts my life, and it's been really interesting, you know, I, I feel like I've been putting out the best content that I have in, you know, maybe ever, and, you know, my, my views are way down, subs are way down, and I've been, I've been in a, kind of a weird spot the last couple weeks of having to do a little searching of why, why am I doing this you know I've had to talk to some friends and uh, you know who you are if I've reached out to you and thank you for being there um, and just trying to see like okay well why why am I doing this and one of my friends you know just I was texting him about like man like I don't like everyone's views are down all the content creators views are down my views are down everyone hates the game right now it's so you know it's bad it's in a bad place what do I do and he hit me with like a pretty simple text of like listen you set out to serve this community so whatever you do next you just need to make sure that you continue to serve the community and maybe that means you go you take the community to a different game or whatever you do but you you felt like I told you to serve the community so whatever you do you got to serve the community and so that was a little cryptic, right? I didn't really know what to think of that at first and was like, all right, well, it doesn't really help my situation. But you know what, boys? I, I thought about it a little bit and thinking about all the issues and stuff we're having. I don't, my work's not done in this game, I don't think. I think it's time for me to yet again uh, kind of just buckle down, make some changes. You know, there's definitely some changes, uh, you know, like I, I, the changes I just went through. That I need that I need to make and I think will be really good but as far as me leaving the game staying on the game whatever it is um, I'm here and I think it's important for me to continue to pour into the community and I have some ideas for that okay so part of the thing is with the pro scene I think that you know a lot of people have been you know angry about the or frustrated with the TFC tracks personally I think that you know, I'm not a huge fan of Thunder Valley, but I'm not a huge fan of Thunder Valley ever in this game, to be honest, because I don't think it works with the game. Uh, but, like, I liked Hangtown. Fox was good. I'm just bad. Um, you know, and then I haven't really spent that much time on uh, Round 4 outside of testing, but I thought Round 4 was really good. Mount Morris, I thought it was solid. Uh, I, I'm pretty, pretty excited about uh, Redbud, because uh, Redbud always works really well in this game. But, so... I'm going to continue to test and hopefully help these guys um, make a even better uh, pro scene moving forward. And then, I, you know, a lot of you guys know I'm on the OEM team. There's a couple of you comment all the time that say I get scripted bikes from OEM. That's why I'm good. But I, have you ever watched me play? I'm very bad at game. I've crashed like nine times in this video. Scripted bikes hopefully wouldn't make me crash. Anyway, moving on. Uh, I'm going to continue to help them develop those new OEMs and patches and 
and really just try to help pour into them. I know I don't test as nearly as much as I should in there, but I'm going to try and do it more. And this is why, this is part of the reason I wanted to step away from casting and stuff, is it just gives me more time throughout the week. Oh my! It gives me more time throughout the week to do these things that I've been talking about. Another thing um, that I want to continue to do is, you know, I know I see a lot of people, whether, you know, again, whether you agree or not with this, uh, I've always been a supporter of the paid tracks because I like to see the homies get paid. Uh, but I see a lot of people um, complaining about, you know, no, no, no free content. I ran a poll in the Facebook on the MX Bike Facebook page. Did you know there's an MX Bike Facebook page? Yeah, it's all the guys that are like 95 years old and up. Uh, just kidding. Love you. Uh, and I ran a poll in there and it had like 200 and something votes and m it was like 80 or 70 percent or something or 60 percent but it was like the majority of people said that content in this game was dead but the game was still really fun and so that kind of got me thinking recently I ran a uh, if you guys probably seen this video where I went oh my Lanta oh my Lanta oh my Lanta uh, where I put a few track creators together and had them build the same track and i'm not gonna lie that has got an insane response from people it's one of my best videos like uh for the current time that it's out and you know the comments and the people reaching out to me um and so you know what i, I want to double down on that and what we're gonna do moving forward is i'm gonna do a very you know kind of a game show type deal and I'm going to put some money on the line for the creators. I'm sure it'll be nowhere near. I mean, it's not going to be anywhere near what they would probably make if they put the track out themselves on the shop. But at least there is some incentive and they're getting some sort of money for their time investment. Um, and we're going to make a competition bracket style kind of uh, competition out of and see who's who's the best track maker. I mean, I don't really care who's the best. It's really uh, just a way for us to pour a ton of content back into the community. Uh, the track creators can get a little bread. It can be a little competition. It can be fun. Uh, so I'll, I'll be releasing more information on that uh, over the next probably couple weeks. Um, but I think that'll help put a lot of content back into the game. And then, and then as far as my content, I. Uh, I want to be committed to trying to push the boundaries of, um, you know, different content. You know, I've been, oh my, I looked at my phone's ringing, so I looked down at it. There's a lot of very similar content out there, and I'm determined, and I always have been determined for the last, I don't know, few, few months, few, you know, six months seven months to try and be unique and different and provide something that is just value whether it's helpful you know overly entertaining it gives you track something i want to give you guys value and i'm committed to doing that and that's just going to mean i probably upload a lot i'm not going to be able to do daily uploads but i'm trying to do like two a week which seems to be pretty pretty doable at this point uh, but that's the goal do a couple videos a week that are unique different or helpful um, because you know and honestly it's a that's that one's tough because I know if we just did daily uploads like if I just got on and did this and talked every single day I know I'd be growing a lot faster than I am right now but uh, that's okay we're going to be doing I, I want to provide value I don't want to milk you guys for views um, and so that's what we're going to do. And again, I, I'm not implying that anybody else is doing that. So I don't want to see anything in the comments about, Oh no, this creator's doing that. No, 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 no. That, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying, I'm saying that there are people that provide daily content and they do a heck of a job at it better than I could. And you know what, man? Like I see a hole in the community of like creative, unique, ch challenging kind of stuff. And I want to fill that hole and uh yeah so that's where i'm at so i was kind of a i hope for those of you that stay here to the end uh i love you by the way and yeah i i don't know i i'm not going anywhere i had a rough i had a rough couple of weeks gents i did i'm not gonna lie physics got me got me down bad uh but you know what this is where god called me and i'm not going anywhere until he specifically tells me to do something else and 
I mean, maybe I put in some other content, you know, you might see some like one-off random battle bit streams or X Defiant streams or Battlefield streams, you know, late at night just for like for fun. Um, but I, I will, I, I'm committed to being here on the game. I don't know. I'm sorry if that is this video is long winded or whatever. I'll try to, I'll try to chop it up. So it wasn't totally annoying, but just felt like I need to get this, you know, off my chest out there for you guys to see. Hopefully that thumbnail wasn't too, uh, <laughs> too clickbaity. <laughs> <laughs> All right, boys. I love you, man. And as always, it <laughs> As always, Poboso Physics are the best, and if you guys need anything, please let me know in Discord. I will talk with you, pray with you, whatever you need. If it's a life problem, a girl pro I know you guys always got girl problems, man. I mean, you guys... Uh, yo, bro, you guys, we were having a stream yesterday, and it, like we had like a 25-minute combination, or com combination conversation about how to talk to females, all right? So, I don't know what's wrong with you guys, but if you guys don't know what's going on, I got you, okay? It's really... They're just people, anyway. <laughs> Alright, you guys have a good day. I love you, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>